Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are almost to Savannah. This whole time, I guess we were on Rotten Street. River Street, here we come. This is what happens when you're hot. Good morning, guys. It is currently 4.22 a.m. And today we start the journey going back to Orlando. And I'm so sorry for my like raspy voice. It's literally too early for this. But I'm going to do my makeup because I'm actually going to be spending a day in Savannah, Georgia. And then I'm going to go to Orlando and Ryan's coming with me. So I thought I would vlog it all for you guys. So I'm going to do some quick makeup. But I also really want to look good for any pictures we're going to be taking today. I want to try to be out of the house by like 5.15, the latest. So we'll see if I can do that. But I mainly packed up everything. I think all I need to get is like seasonings from the kitchen downstairs, which shouldn't be that hard. I didn't have that many seasonings, I don't think. So I'm done with my makeup, it is 5.05 .05 and I told Ryan the latest I'd be at was 5.15 and all I have to do is carry down these three bags and pick up some spices, fill up my water bottle and I'll be out the door. I'm gonna miss you, Neech. I love you. You remember that, okay? I love you. I love you. Last night when I was like rolling my suitcase out, that's when she lost it. It was like so sad. She knew I was leaving. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. minutes away. Ryan is passed out. He's so tired because he worked really late last night. I decided to pull out the vlog camera because my eyes were kind of getting a little droopy and like when that happens I just like need to talk. Just like I don't know do something and like talk to someone because just listening to music or I tried listening to like a podcast it wasn't really working out for me. I was still kind of feeling sleepy. So if you guys watch The Bachelor you probably know Ashley, I, and Ben Higgins. They actually have a podcast and they like talk about like all things Bachelor. So since I'm really into the show, it's really cool to hear like secrets and stuff like that about it. So that's like the type of podcast I listen to while I'm on these long drives. I do need to find like actual podcasts that like, you know, make me a little bit smarter because those don't. <laughs> I actually, I think the first podcast I ever listened to was the girl boss ones from the nasty gal owner um sophia amoruso and those were really cool because she would like interview women that are ceos of really cool companies like brit and co and glossier and stuff like that so those are really cool but i think i listened to like pretty much all the ones that i thought would be interesting so i'm on the lookout for a new podcast i loved the girl boss ones because it just like you know it was like for millennials type thing so please let me know in the comments down below if you guys know of any like that so when we get to savannah we will be arriving at like 9 30 ish and we're going to this place called collins quarter and i actually looked all over pinterest for like an itinerary to do while we're in savannah because we are only here for like today and then we're just going to orlando tomorrow morning so i found this place called collins quarter and it just looks like it has really good brunch um so that's what we're gonna do first thing when we get there the sunrise this morning was like gorgeous now getting into savannah it's like super foggy so hopefully like that clears up ryan snoring we're in savannah guys oh no one-way streets are living hell for me welcome back <laughs> 
Looks a lot like Florida and Athens put together. Yeah, how cute. What's your favorite playlist on my Spotify? The one where I'm sleeping in sound. That was rude. <laughs> <laughs> You're mean. You know you like my old rock playlist. Like ratch. The Ratch one. I love Tyga. So pretty over here. Like we just pulled up at this like little park thing that like looks like the one from Forrest Gump, but we don't really exactly know which one it is. They, I bet they have like a lot of parks that look the same. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. more money in our parking meter because we could only get like a 30 minute one. We have to like come back every 30 minutes, but it's all good. I'm actually going to take an hour of our 30 minutes. It's a cool bike though. What do we think about breakfast? Mine was good. Yours kind of suck. Yeah, mine was like not amazing, but I mean, I probably just got the wrong thing, honestly, because there's there was like a lot of good stuff on the menu. It was definitely a nice place. Very trendy. Very picturesque. So I actually have been to Savannah because of Girl Scouts. I was like a Girl Scout for like a good six years or something like that. Um, and yeah, their headquarters I think is in Savannah. And that's also cool because Capital Delta's philanthropy is like Girl Scouts of the USA. So, it's really cool. Surprise, we bought a loft in Savannah. Just kidding. And they have like a lot of cool furniture. Very expansive, but super cool. What even is this? Oh, wow. Could you imagine working? <laughs> So we saw this thrift store across the street and this is actually on my bucket list to do in Savannah. This is super in style now. Bomber jackets and stuff. It's kind of cool. This store is totally like 90s everything. This whole time, I guess we were on Rotten Street, which was also on my bucket list. So we're just like crossing off things and we don't even know it. <laughs> hey guys, so it is almost noon and we are looking at like our little agenda type thing to see what we want to do next. Um, so we might go back to Rotten Street and like look around there more because we just noticed that we missed like a lot of stuff like Leopold's ice cream. You sure that was on that street? And what else do we miss? The Paris Market. Oh, the Paris Market. And, and I River Street, saw that was really cool. There. What? And River Street's only like five blocks away from there. Oh, blocks. okay. Well, yeah, we <coughs> might need to find better parking then. Like parking in a garage or something like that. I'm already so tired. I mean, eating makes me like so sleepy already. And then like walking around in the sun. Me. It was Ryan's idea to come to Savannah. I'm gonna like it more when we get to see the water and stuff. That's true. 
So we just got a parking spot super close to River Street. So we could just walk there and I think we're gonna sit in the car for a little bit. I'm so tired right now and I kind of want to charge my phone a little bit. So I need to put that on airplane mode so it can charge fast. But yeah, it was really annoying because like I started off the morning with 100% and obviously I had to put maps on on my phone and like music and stuff. But that's it, like maps and music and it literally like on the charger, it put my phone down to like 50%. I really don't understand that. We found like parallel parking and if I didn't have Ryan like teaching me and like telling me like which way to go and how to cut the wheel, I would have freaked out. River Street, here we come. So we're in a peanut store right now. I have all these samples and they had malt ball samples. This gift shop is named after me, of course. We just got Bailey samples, and I'm so happy because I was about to buy one. But I know, like, whenever they give me samples, I'm like, it's good enough. It's so sweet that it's just like a sample of, like, Mine was hot, yours is not hot anymore. So their ice cream looks so good. It doesn't even look like ice cream, it looks like gelato or something. But we really want to try Leopold's because that's like on like every itinerary on Pinterest. So I think we're gonna like wait. Guys, I literally just tried a honeycomb. That's weird, but it was good. This is what we waited for. So and I tried to eat this and I put it in my mouth. Ryan told me it was lotion and it wasn't and <laughs> I was like what the hell? I wish there was like more shade over here because <laughs> it'd be uh, nice it to like sit. Be. We're like basing all our travels off the Visit Savannah Instagram. <laughs> I posted about this bridge. It's from right here. We found shade. Why are you so weird? It feels so nice. Like the breeze under the shade is perfect. What are our plans? I don't know, you tell me. Okay, we're gonna go back to the car. We're gonna go. See where they shot Forrest Gump. And then we're gonna go to Forsyth Park. You're not even kidding me. And then we're gonna go to Wormslow and Leopold Ice Cream into our hotel. She's gonna nap. She's grumpy. <laughs> I'm not grumpy, I just know I'm tired. 15 cent water. Thanks, Bay. Treating. So we came into this Savannah clothing shop, and apparently all the men's. Oh, that's cute. You should get that. All the men's swim trunks are 50% off. So I'm telling Ryan he should get some for Coco Beach. Like these. Those ones? Nice. So we just got to Forsyth Park and we're about to walk to the famous fountain. That's like so far away. <laughs> I feel like there was like only parking on the part that didn't have all the stuff. But it's fine. I need to burn off the calories. 
and those, yeah. all those samples on River Street. There were mm -hmm. so many good samples, and it's nice because I didn't have to buy anything. By the way, I guess I didn't really describe this place, but it's basically like this cool park with a fountain right there, and all these really cool mossy trees. So it's pretty similar to Warm Slow. Sonny's gonna be a bird lady when she gets older. <laughs> she's having different Yorkies and she's gonna be like, look at this one. You wanna send Yeah, I'm gonna be a Yorkie lady. <laughs> You want food? Say Nietzsche is fine. So we just got to Warm Slow and Ryan actually drove this time which was nice because I got to nap. But I just found out that apparently you have to pay to take pictures here and it's like literally blocked off which you can definitely like take pictures around it like literally go behind the sign but I just feel guilty. It's like, I mean, it's like their business I guess. But it's still kind of annoying because some people are actually taking pictures right now. So I was like, did you like actually pay? She was like, yeah, it, um, you have to pay in there and it's $10 per person. Like I was expecting like maybe like three, like maybe two. Like how do they know like if it's like professional or like just a picture on your phone? Like that just, that's stupid even though I'd probably take like my big camera out there. But I feel like it's not even like worth it. I just wanted to show it on my vlog so I might just get out and like film it a little bit. Um, but, I don't know, it kind of sucks. I get that they want to make money because like obviously it's a picturesque place, but $10 a person is kind of much because I wanted a picture of me and him and I was going to like set up a tripod, but it wasn't that serious. It was, was going to be like a like fast little thing, like he's not even dressed nice. It's not like a, like, no offense, but you're kind of in gym shorts and I'm kind of in jean shorts. I don't know, it just like wasn't that serious to be paying like 20 bucks, so. I think we're gonna have to pass on this one, which sucks because it was not like super close to where we were, but it's fine. At least we saw it. Should I get up? Should I get up and run? Stop that right before it had begun. So update, we went inside and like asked what like we actually had to pay for and like what the tour was and stuff like that. So basically you could like drive through it. It's like this whole like path of trees and a museum and stuff like that. And, like I just want to take pictures. Um, and she said like any pictures were $10 a person. And I was like, even like a Snapchat. And she was like, yeah. And I, was, and I don't know, she was just kind of, she wasn't the friendliest first of all. So like, I was just like, Seriously, like a snapchat like I can't just like snap a pic real quick So like you know me gotta snap my pic did it through the window while we were driving away And I'm pretty sure she like came out to like Because I heard the door like Like slam kind of like after us like what when we walked out And I didn't like want to look back because like obviously like didn't really want to look suspicious But she was like for sure like eyeing us and making sure we didn't take pictures, but I was like seriously like I don't know, I would understand if we were in it, but like I did not take a picture of myself at all or Ryan. It was literally just of the trees. I'm like, seriously, like I can't take a picture of nature and you're gonna charge me? Sure. I don't get it. Sure, like thumbnail that broke the law. <laughs> no, I don't like I don't wanna say I did, but I'm just I just don't like I get it, that's their business, but like I also only think that it should be like professionally like professional cameras and like you're actually having like a photo shoot type thing like a, like an engagement shoot or like senior pictures like I get that because like I think that Sunflower Field you know back home I think they do that too like obviously like you pay to take pictures but I don't think it's like ten dollars a person again that's like with professional cameras and like I don't think they care about iPhones so. so it is a lot later we actually went to our hotel to take a little cat nap which was super nice we both passed out real quick but now we are going to but now we are going to go to this seafood restaurant called Bernie's on River Street I think it's what it's called I'm excited because I love seafood hopefully we can get some oysters Ask me how happy I 
Sam because my Shirley Temple is in my hand. She laughed when I said Shirley Temple. I know. Like I was like five, which I am. I'll never grow out of these things. I'm so good. She said, as long as you're spending money, I don't give a shit. I'll make whatever you want. <laughs> We ordered um, the steamed seafood platter, which I always love fried anything better, but for the sake of, you know, my recruitment body, I was like, okay, we need to do it steamed because I don't even need fried. And I think we're going to get bean pulled ice cream later, so. Just big plans. What? Big plans with my credit card. <laughs> and then we're gonna, we got a dozen of them. We're all always doing of the restaurant and we were like, oh, let's like walk by the riverside or river street. I literally told Ryan, I was like, wow, it feels like such room temperature weather, if that makes sense. Like it didn't feel humid, it didn't feel hot, it didn't feel cold, like just like perfect. And then literally like in the next five minutes, it started to get like so much more humid and then it started raining. What? It's literally raining right now. I'm so sad. So we had to like run to our car before it got like too bad because like I had all my electronics in my bag. But we just parked at Leopold's ice cream and this was like on like everyone's like bucket list on Pinterest and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, have to add it to mine. So there is currently a line right now and it's raining. So we're probably just gonna wait like 15 minutes, 10 minutes to see if the line dies down um, and then probably get in line. But. Hopefully it stops raining. How'd you like your first crawfish broil experience? I ate the poop. <laughs> I didn't know. I know. I was trying to like explain how to like open up a crawfish because like my aunt taught me a while ago, but I always thought it was so much work that I never really like, ate the crawfish. I would only eat the shrimp and like the like broil thing. Um, so I kind of forgot how to do it. And like, I was like, oh, I think like you are supposed to like suck the head, which I got right. And then I was like, um, or maybe, or, and maybe you eat the green stuff too, and I was like the poop, I think. And so I made him eat it accidentally. <laughs> it was a really good dinner. It didn't really fill us up like too much. We just like split like a steamed seafood platter thing. So we are in line, it started raining. So it was perfect, because we literally only waited like 15 minutes for the rain to stop.